Good evening, I'm Jo Kent. First tonight, the heartwarming story of a woman from the Cotswolds who's given a fortune to charity in memory of her late husband. Mary Scott's £1 million donation is the largest that brain tumour research has ever received. The money's being invested in the hope of finding a cure for the deadliest of all childhood cancers. Fiona Lambdin has the story. He was very kind, very loving, very generous, a clever man. Mike and Mary were married for 47 years. But four years ago, when Mike was in his late 60s, they began to worry something was very wrong. I noticed that he was getting forgetful. He couldn't put emails together very easily. He became very confused. He fell over a couple of times. And he said to me the one day, I think I'm going mad. A few months later, Mike was diagnosed with a grade four brain tumor and given a few months left to live. He used to say to me, I'm not leaving you. I'm not going anywhere. I'll be OK. Of course, he wasn't OK. He was far from OK. Mike died age 69. But despite her grief, Mary has now donated money Mike earned to fund a new research centre. What's being done here in Mike's memory is, is a game-changing donation. It's the biggest donation in the history of our charity uh, in our 15 years. It's going into bringing forward this new centre for research into paediatric brain tumours. It's an extraordinary, generous donation that really will make a difference for future paediatric brain tumour patients. To lose an adult is bad enough, but to lose a child, an innocent child who hasn't lived is the worst thing. So if this money can go towards a centre that can perhaps come up with a eureka moment, I always call it, his life hasn't been in vain. Fiona Lambdin, BBC South Today. A wonderful legacy.